Welcome to another uh, another episode of Ainako, uh, featuring uh, co-host Vincent. My little brother's here. We got Kango, Josh on the uh, production assistant side right now. He said he didn't want to be on camera because he just got back from Vegas, like not even like four hours ago. Yeah, it was a bit of a, a bit of a journey. I'm fucking tired and look like shit, so yeah. it's better for the podcast if we don't show my face. <laughs> okay. Yeah. At least, at least we just look like shit. <laughs> you might get no, you're tired as fuck. If you get all of it, you know, like, hey, that's <laughs> self harm, sir. Like, get that out of here. Um, yeah, make sure you just talk right into that, right directly into that. So it's, but um, yeah, oh, welcome back to another episode, everybody. I hope you guys had a great week. I had an uh, eventful week. I know Kango had an eventful weekend. Um, I'm fucking dead tired. I had my show this morning. And my show last night, I could not sleep for the life of me. I got up early, earlier than my alarm. And then when my alarm finally went off, I looked at my phone and I was like, I can do 15 more minutes. And ended up sleeping like 37 more minutes. That sounds about right. I took a quick shower, got to my gig. I was tired as all fucking hell. But That's one in uh, Scottsdale? Yeah, the one over in Scottsdale. um, But it was cool because uh, I started streaming on this site, Kick. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Kick is pretty much Twitch's rival at this moment. And I, mean, I wouldn't say rival, it's just it's it's upcoming. But they're doing a lot of really good things for creators. They're paying creators a shit ton more. Uh, Higher revenue share. A lot more right. money. Uh, I mean, they recently just announced um, Kick First Class, which is like 31 streamers, all of different sizes, like different size communities and everything. You got Kick First Class partnered um, and they get paid one hundred fifty thousand dollars a year. Whoa! Damn. To stream exclusively on Kick. That's freaking badass. That's a good deal. That's huge. Um, and uh, so, and part of that community, or part of the Kick community, uh, they're here in Arizona. So, um, I got to meet a couple of the creators today. They came and hung out. They're really awesome people. Uh, Aaron Zona, Coco Pelli. Uh, Coco Pelli kisses. Uh, one of them, Little Bear. She wanted. She wasn't going to show up. She wanted to, but she wasn't able to make it. Mm-hmm. Uh, Scarred by Fousey too. Yeah, probably. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't know. Uh, that that whole thing is just a mess. That I, that was that's a headache in itself. Fousey too. But uh, regardless, um, yeah, it was really cool. But I, we all hung out like for like two hours after. Uh, after I got done playing, and then they're like, "You got a podcast to go to." And I was like, "Yeah, it's, it's fine. I'm like, oh, I'll make it." When I got back home, though, you know, actually, I was driving home, and I was just like, "Oh, dude, this lane assist is kicking in right now." You know what I mean? And my car's lane assist was just going ham, and I'm like, "I'm gonna stop and grab." I'm like, "I'm gonna stop and grab uh, uh, like a monster or something at Circle K," and I stop and I pull into like the gas pump area. As soon as I turned my car off, I woke up like 30 minutes later, oh. dude. And I was like, damn, I passed in the, out just in like the se- in, in the, the seat, dude. And um, yeah, so I got up, grabbed myself a monster, got home. And then when I got home, my brother's waiting. You know, they're getting ready um, for the uh, podcast. My brother just got to the house. I don't know how long you've been waiting. And Not that much longer. I was surprised to beat you home, but right. I didn't get there. And then, and then I was just like, you know, I'm just going to go like just lay down in my bed for a second. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how long I passed out for, but yeah, it was, was good because I think it gave it gave Kang some time to rest too. I slept. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Dad was like, he was like, "You want to order pizza? We can eat before I go to work." And I was like, "I'm fine. Just you know, as long as the the bros want to do whatever, like I'm fine with whatever." But you were tired as shit. Me and Angel were hanging out in the living room, and then he was like, oh, "I saw him on his computer." And then like uh, like a few minutes later, we can hear you snoring. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Was I snoring at the computer? I no, I think you were at your bed. I was laying it down. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I was. I was like, okay, it's gonna be a while. It's no big deal. Um, but yeah, glad that you did not crash. Uh, I crashed. Well, I mean, <laughs> your, your vehicle. <laughs> My vehicle is fine though. Yeah. Um. So last week we ended on you saying you wanted to talk about aliens. I've got a little note thing pulled up here. Yeah, I I wanted to hear what you guys felt about, you know. Because we grew up, we grew up on watching on alien oh, shit. What was that one? Hard. Alien abduction. Alien yeah. abduction at Lake County, and that was that was like one of our go to. Believe in that shit. 
Aliens? Yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. I, I mean, I would like to think that they're real. They, uh, they, hey, whoever that is, is not real. That's yeah. It. <laughs> Her, I am telling you. I right think she now. saw something. And you know what? People on Facebook are like, no, nah, she was drunk. There's all kinds of Facebook warriors who are just trying to like, they're, they're, they're just all upset that like people are, are feeding into it. And I love fanning that flame. Like I fan that flame every day, dude. And I post her and I'm like, she's real. She posted, apparently she posted this thing. It's like a, an apology. It's an apology. Yeah. Notice how it doesn't really look like her, but it kind of looks like her. Uh, and mean, the, everybody's like, that's definitely AI. Like that's AI generated. Uh, and when you watch the video, it, it's kind of creepy when you watch it, bro. Because like when you see the video of her on the plane, you're like, damn, <laughs> smash. You know what I mean? <laughs> But then you watch that AI video and you're like, pass. Like, I, think, I think there's a little reflection it. you have to make after you make after you, that's the reaction you get because she was like hammered on the plane and I manic. Think, she like, was <laughs> hammered. That doesn't change the way I think about how she looks. Well, that, that's what I'm awesome. saying. I think you have uh, maybe that's the that's just your type. Drunk so white woman, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, might be. Yeah, like that girl looks apart. like she got her shit together. That's gross. <laughs> she does no, have a million she, dollar home. So, well, so I watched a TikTok earlier where they're saying like, um, apparently, she made a Twitter account and followed TMZ right before that video got posted of her no, no. AI deepfake. Oh, yeah. and that that it goes back to like two blocks away or something, two miles or two blocks away from Washington, D.C. Like, the comp- the conspiracy is freaking crazy. It's crazy, and I'm all for it. I'm believing in it. I'm putting all my energy into this shit that, like, there's some other shit going on. Aliens are here. They've been here for a long time. Have you seen Benedict Cumberbatch? That guy looks that, like I, and he that looks dude like from something. Oppenheimer, um, Cillian Killian Murphy. I think he might be an alien. Really? Yeah. He's too perfect looking. His mm. jawline is so straight. Yeah. It's there's something. There's. I believe in aliens. I think that they. How creepy would it be if you woke up in the middle of the night? Okay. Sleep paralysis. Can't move. And you just hear a beep beep boop. <laughs> <laughs> Talk. Beep beep boop boop. <laughs> boop, boop beep, bop. And you open your, and you, you just, you know, I don't know. If that's Why are you like that? <laughs> <laughs> but you like look over and it's just fucking big head, big eyes Angel. just looking over you. <laughs> like, just Angel, what are you doing in my room? Fingers <laughs> just ready to probe you. Beep, bop, beep, boop. You, s- you sound like Bobby Lee. <laughs> <laughs> bop, boop, but. And then, you know, you wake up, you're like, oh, thank God it was a dream, but my butt hurts. Like, mm. it could be something, oh, you know? Shit. You could, could find out you like butt stuff that way. True. Aliens might be doing us a favor. They might. You know. <laughs> they, they might be here for reasons that we don't know. Oh, I know about them. I'm glad that they're here. <laughs> like, people think they're here to, like, conquer or, like, oh, tell us that we're ruining the planet. Maybe they're just here to show us our sexuality. I wish they would have shown me sooner. I feel like I've you know, there's a lot of lost time there. No, nothing in Vegas happened there. <laughs> oh, I knew about that part myself. <laughs> 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 I, that's, that's, I didn't need to have an alien tell me that. Um, no, but we we grew up watching alien stuff. Uh, we grew up watching a lot of like creepy and you know what. Right. I feel like we were just like, what's gonna get us scared? Let's freaking go and watch that. But yeah, obviously there's just a bunch of alien stuff going on. You know, government. Do you believe it? Uh, I don't believe um, a lot of the stuff that's being "quote unquote" announced and released and revealed. You don't believe right? the CIA, like the dude from the CIA, went like in front of the government and was like testifying that. I I believe some of what he's what he's saying. I believe everything he's saying. David, why does he have Greer? a reason to lie? Gr- Grish, Greer. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah, but um, I th- there there's you know there's just a lot of different things out there. A lot of like you said conspiracies and. Um, I guess for me, I'm more of a like uh, believe it when I see it kind of thing. Um, it's cool, I, I guess, if they're like willing to be like, "Hey, we're gonna we've been holding on to these secrets, and we're gonna let them out now." But my my question is like, why now, right? Because we're such we're in such a deep state of like chaos and panic. Everybody's freaking about out about something. There's something happening. Why not just toss aliens into the mix and just fucking throw it all? And then, and then everybody forgets about the real shit that's happening. Everybody forgets about, oh, you know, the shit in, in the world that we can fix and that we do have right. control over. Right. You know, the government's like, hey, like, let that fucking Gretsch guy say what he wants to say. Like, let him whistleblow. We'll make him look fucking crazy. Well, th- he couldn't say a lot. 
I don't know if you saw the whole thing. No, I know like, he couldn't say a lot. Like, well, it's classified. It's classified. Yeah, right. I can't speak on this. Blah, blah, blah. But like, this is, and you know, people were saying that like nobody is 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 uh, too crazy about it. They're just like, yeah, we kind of we knew that. I mean, like, aliens have been here. The stuff that they said though, or the stuff that they've like come out with, isn't exactly like new revelations. They're like, hey, we saw some like weird stuff on a video or whatever. You sure. Know? Like, yeah. It's not like. Uh, you know, they have a body or something, and they're, like, showing us. I just want to say, okay, the crazy airplane lady, all right? You got to think for this woman. I don't know. This is, like, I don't she, know if you're into she, aliens or into white women. No. I was just, 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 just going to say that. Listen, she, she happened. And then Gresh was like, hey, guys, we got aliens. I don't know if they were the, related, though. I didn't, I'm just sure. saying, the timeline's there. She saw something, <laughs> and it happened. It, I'm, I think it's like a she, her thing was that she saw like a, a lizard guy, like a, a alien, a Zuckerberg, if you will. Alien. <laughs> Look at him; his eyes are way too far apart to be a human. That, that is cool. I <laughs> just, where do we draw the line? Are we just gonna start believing everything that like people high off and drunk off their asses start spouting, and then yes. building conspiracy theories? Because off of that them? shit unlocks so much of your brain potential. It people doesn't though. Like, I don't think it, it doesn't. It, like it, 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 it they occupies. See shit, all right, they see shit and they're just like, hey. But does that make whatever Shane says true? Might be. <laughs> well, Earth might be flat. <laughs> That's sure. Are you guys flat earthers? No, I always give them shit about that. I'd be like, hey, if the Earth is flat, then how come when I stop my car, it rolls back when I'm in neutral? <laughs> like, give him stupid <laughs> shit like that. <laughs> he's just like, he's also a 5 g -er. He's like one of those. Oh, like, the waves are going to melt. Yeah, the 5Gs at a time. Like, you, do you go to five guys? It's different, different, yeah, different type of 5G. <laughs> yeah, but I was giving shit about that. He, yeah. His type of crazy stems from another type of crazy. So, yeah. No, I, I just, I wanted to see and hear um, what you guys thought about all the, all the alien stuff. Because we, I mean, we couldn't get enough of the movie Signs, right? That movie freaked me the fuck out. It I, freaked a lot of people out. I it's was behind, I it's behind. It. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That was I know that's all the water shit though the the playing baseball with water cups and and all that stuff the aliens are just hate water I mean I don't know maybe they can't swim but I feel like if aliens were to be anywhere it would be deep sea because we know nothing about that Mariana Trench like we got we only know like that's what happens at Ocean Gate it's fucking aliens it wasn't an implosion yeah I'm <laughs> telling you dude, I'm telling you, Ocean Gate airplane lady aliens it was like hygiene I mean, we know more about outer space than we do our sea I believe there's a yeah. megalodon. Still, okay, there's not right. come on. megalodon is still real. I think there's kaiju's like people make fun of Godzilla, but somebody came up with the idea somehow. I, sure. yeah, I mean, yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, Pacific Rim could happen. I'd like it to happen, that would be so that'd be cool. Be sick, right? Mechs. No, I mean, I just want to brain meld with someone. Be like, hey, like, let me go. <laughs> Can like, you imagine like, doing that? And they're like, dude, what the fuck are you <laughs> thinking about? Like, yeah. Sorry, bro. Like, <laughs> yeah. like, fuse, dude. Just, Ew. Stop thinking about that. <laughs> Quit. <laughs> oh, man. Just brain meld with the wrong person. And you're just like, I'm telling. <laughs> like, ooh. Like, you tell that. me you did that. <laughs> Why were you standing over me while I was having sleep paralysis? <laughs> Put your finger in my ass. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> oh, man. Um, stupid. <laughs> dude, speaking of the whole drug thing, uh, one of my friends, one of my best friends, he's a manager at the place I played at today. Mm -hmm. Last Sunday. <laughs> no, maybe. No, it was, it was last Monday. Um, I, I set up all my gear, and he he's he's sitting here, and he's like, he walks up and he has his arms crossed and like under his arm. While walking? No, he's just walking. Oh. He's like chilling. He leans up and I'm sitting at the bar and under his arm, he's holding like a piece of like a cinnamon, a cinnamon roll. And he goes, don't tell nobody I gave you this. So I'm just like, oh, Ew. Dope. You're like, yeah, nice. bro. I was, I was like, oh, sick. You know, cinnamon roll. Like that's delicious. I take it. I, I take a big bite out of it. Fat as fucking. Dude, <laughs> I take a big bite out of it. Right. <laughs> and he goes, he goes, don't eat the whole thing. And I'm like. Why'd you yeah. give it to me? Like, yeah, I'm like, what? Why? It's a cinnamon roll. Like, why? Did you he look goes, at me? No. And then, and then he goes, dude, I soaked that in acid. He was so, so convincing. What? I I throw it like on the bar, and he like picks up a napkin, and then he picks up the fucking cinnamon roll, and he goes, dude, you're gonna be fucking dripping in a couple minutes. 
I was like, why didn't you fucking say anything, dude? Like, I, I took a big bite. I'm freaking out, right? You're like playing. I'm about to play. Like, yeah. And he goes, oh, dude, you were so fucked. And I'm freaking I'm like, dude, like, I need water. Like, give me a drink. I can't drink. Like, I had, I already had a fire and ice shot. So I'm like, I'm going to be double fucked. <laughs> then he just starts laughing. And I'm like, you motherfucker. Yeah. Like, you, you fucked with me? You want to fuck on me? You gonna and fuck he, on me? And, he, and he's just cracking up, and he goes, "Dude, I had your ass." And I was like, "You?" He's like, "Can you imagine if that was actually laced in acid the whole time?" He's like, "You're standing up on stage, just not playing." He's like, "AJ, you gonna play?" He's standing there for an hour. Like, I've been playing bangers this whole time, dude. Like, what do you mean? <laughs> can we can we pledge to not be so fat in public though, <laughs> and just be willing to accept people's food, random, <laughs> but half like eating cinnamon just, rolls. He's like holding it. If it was like in a container, like hey, I brought this. No, he's so just loose just leaf cinnamon roll, dry fingering this damn cinnamon roll, <laughs> and you're like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Yeah, yeah. delicious. <laughs> Let's just step, take a step back before, and just be like, should I like? Should I take this food? I mean, it's my friend. Sure, he was just hooking me up. Yeah, but you could still say no to friends. Like sometimes he, okay. sometimes he'd be like, "Oh, here, you want like this oatmeal cookie?" Like, he just has oatmeal. I'm like, "What yeah, does he sure. got? Fucking treats? What is he like? Yeah. A little fucking okay? I mean, I mean, like, but people bring banana bread to work, dude. Yeah, but no. this guy sounds like the Keebler elf. Like he's just, <laughs> <laughs> he's got a bunch of fucking just he's goodies. Just, <laughs> he's just One hey, of these days he's AJ. not gonna tell me. He's, gonna, I'm just gonna. The boy who cried wolf until I eat that fucking cinnamon roll and I'm like standing up there for two he's hours. He's literally building you up. Yeah. He's just to fucking bring me down. This what if he's an alien and aliens eat people and he's pumping the shit out of you? I mean, I think, the shit out of you? I was going to say pumping or pumping, pumping before he pumps. Either or. I mean, <laughs> he does say a lot of sus things to me. I love you, Sam. But you say a lot of sus things to me. Um, That's funny, though. Yeah. No, that was, I was freaking out. I, I was scared, dude. I was. Have like, you ever oh, done acid, though? No. It's actually not that bad. Really? I'd say you could probably contain yourself on acid easier than you could if you were like to eat mushrooms and go try to play music. Mm. It's, really? It's like depending on how much you eat, but like, sure. it, I mean, it's it, on acid. It's not like as intense as everybody says. Like, where you? What does one get that? Uh, I mean, you got no guy. You, know? you got no guy. <laughs> what are you buying? I don't think that's <laughs> you want to buy a son now? You want to buy a son? It's illegal for you to ask me that. <laughs> um. I mean, I remember. I remember my first time I got really high smoking weed and played a show, and it was it was hard. It was like, your dick, or like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it was, I dude, it I didn't even have a guitar, guitar strap. <laughs> I, I was gonna a, say he was just I resting didn't even on have his a guitar strap, dude. I just <laughs> sat it on my little Pedro eater, dude, and just like just it, it kept, kept falling, falling off. off. <laughs> <laughs> I had to get one. Of, I had to get a Stratocaster because they're like that thin. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> speaking speaking of which, oh I, got, God. I got sexted. Really? Yeah, by a real girl. <laughs> what does that mean? So I, I thought. Or, maybe, I was gonna say, it wasn't guy, like the Snapchat. Oh no, yeah, by a girl. That's I'm not gonna say who. I'm not gonna dox anybody. But she said she she said some things. I was like, damn, like I got my brain going. Where is this? Are they? Can you go turn this into reality sex, or is this just? Yeah, no, I think I can. But she said something to me, and she was like. um, she said, <laughs> she, she said, do you she want said, a cinnamon roll? No, she goes, she said, it'll give you Glock Glock 3000, right? Glock, she said the Glock Glock. She said Glock Glock. She didn't say Glock Glock. She said Glock Glock. But it wouldn't be so Glock. I first, so I was like, damn, you're going to shoot me? Like, <laughs> but but the, she was like, I'll use both my hands and my head. Like, she was like trying to give me like the, 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 the you're like anatomy. Like yeah, and, and so I was just like, damn, I wish. And she's like, what do you mean you wish? Like I'm offering. And I was like, I wish you could use both hands. <laughs> like that was, <laughs> dude, I'm pretty sure I ruined that. <laughs> but like, I'm trying to, I'm trying to let her, you know, let her down slowly. You know what I mean? I like, wish you could use both hands. Like, oh my fuck. I'm going to hit her up and just like, you're getting six inches tonight. Three from me, and you're gonna have to go find the other three from somebody else. <laughs> like, <yeah. laughs> you know, so, you're so no, stupid. <laughs> but that's what she she like. I told her, I was like, hey, the two hands thing. Like, I'm trying to think. Well, of, I mean, how big are her hands? Like, she doesn't have small hands, but maybe it maybe it if like she, like if she pushed, pushed down really hard. down and like fucking jammed both of them in there, like. <laughs> Like, style. Like, like, <laughs> pressing like, too hard. <laughs> it's going to pop out. What's up, my balls? You just got to massage me a little bit. I'll be all right. We'll think about what we're going to do with you later. Holy <laughs> like, fuck. Oh, fuck. I can't lose weight. These fingers are going to get too small. You know what I mean? 
Oh, <laughs> I was Congra- congratulations on the potential. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's everybody. Left round of applause. Round of applause. Let's <sighs> thank you. Hit the button. Hit, hit the, the button. button. Give us a round of applause. Oh yeah. Yeah, AJ. He's fucking yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, I mean, I was making the joke, but I was also like trying to just you know wean her in a little bit, just be like, hey, look, like let's not get our hopes up. Why you that's little wean her in. That's how you fuck. That's how you fuck. That's how you fuck. Wean her in a little bit. That's yeah, I just I just don't want to get her hopes up. You know what I mean? Like let's not let's not think too much into like the size you know let's just think about the good time we're gonna have <laughs> you know what i mean like i have a throne you can sit on it uh, but on, on the toilet <laughs> i'm just kidding <laughs> so let's just let's not uh let's not get to let's not get into specifics right and diameters and lengths and widths and girths i mean there's not much to talk about if we're honest you know we could probably go over that it's that'd be a whole episode itself We've had these conversations many a times. Yeah, I mean, I am a proud member of the less than endowed the short group. the short kings club. Short kings in many ways. Yeah, um, yeah. You know, it's kind of it's it just I I think what it is is my doctor botched my uh, circumcision. You know, circumcision. Yeah, I got half a foreskin. It's kind of fucked, actually. Got a two skin. Got a two skin. <laughs> I got a two skin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the two skin. It's like one, half two of it. skin. Baby. It's, it's kind of cool though because it's like real sensitive on one side and the other. So I'm just like rolling it around in there, you know, trying to fucking even it out. <laughs> just, what the it's, fuck? It's a little science mystery. Do a barrel roll. What is this? <laughs> He's just here break dancing <laughs> on the bed, just like you feel that? <laughs> oh, wait, hold on, let me roll. Over. Uh, my uh, my goal is to one day do like the full 360, like cartwheel and that shit. You know? Do you like, imagine? That'd be pretty sick. You do like a whole just a whole spin, just like with your arms <laughs> and legs out. <laughs> Starfished out to Christ. <laughs> Helicopter on somebody. And when you come, you're like, you got served. <laughs> you could do that like like when you're if you're <laughs> if you're hitting from the back, you can do that. Be like Tails. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is okay, let's uh let's get to some of these other <laughs> topics. Spiraled for sure. What do we uh, have on the agenda? I have a few things written down here, so uh But I I, I did want to ask, is that club open still? For invites, club. yeah, Wait, the, uh, it's a very inclusive um, club, but you know, I'm sure that you might qualify. We'll need uh, some documentation to prove that you know. I'll, I'll build a resume for that. Yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll circle back. We'll circle back. Yeah, we'll, we'll come back to it. Um, I mean, I'm sure it's open. It's a lot of people joining it every day. I feel like mm-hmm. a lot more now. I think after the COVID shot or something, it like did something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, blame it on COVID. <laughs> That's what it is. Wait, the so is the next vaccine supposed to undo it? Uh, let's hope so. Hmm. You know, I I would that would make me a very happy man. Yeah. I don't think there's any hope for me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Okay. But on that uh, note, Trump. Um, yeah. so, <laughs> uh, Trump was indicted this week. Has like a beautiful mugshot. Have you seen it? Oh yeah, dude. He looks like he's about to drop an album of the year. He reminds me of um the Zoolander movie when they're doing the little like blue the steel blue steel look. face. Yeah, that's him, dude. Fucking easy. <laughs> <laughs> it's 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 pretty it's I, I w- there's like shirts and stuff I want to buy one of the shirts that's like inmate number fucking you know whatever, whatever. <laughs> yeah. it's like his like the picture I'm, I'm gonna get one what's a we can make like a straight out of like something you know what's the name of his compound Mar-a-Lago straight out of Mar-a-Lago dude. straight out of Mar-a-Lago <laughs> that his his sh- mugshot was pretty creepy right like it was like he's giving you the Glock Glock 3000 look. <laughs> okay, did you see, happen to see the mugshot of Kanye West's uh, former publicist? No. It's incredible. Look. It's way worse. Look at that. Have you oh. seen the movie Smile? Oh, yeah. That, that was the she first looks thing. like, she looks possessed. I don't know if there's a way we can show it to the camera, but... Uh, yeah, no, we can just pull it, it up. Um, yeah, and yeah. In post, yeah. we'll put a picture that yeah. is uh, she, of the mugshot. She looks like she's um, planning something for Trump or something. I don't know. Yeah, that's, you know? that's uh, the whole Trump uh, mugshot thing. They, like they made it so crazy. They're just like, oh my god, Trump released you know mugshot. Like it's like the release of like a new Drake album. Like everybody's just talking about it. It's like okay, like he's got a mugshot. But it's like the first that's president just, in a, like yeah a long time. Yeah, but well, that's no, that's automatically what happens. Like, but he just looks like a supervillain in the picture. Yeah. Yeah, but he like, looks like Homelander's dad. <laughs> 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 but uh, uh, you know, you get to a certain point of fame, and and everything you do, say, <laughs> eat, and you know, is under a magnifying glass. You know, that's kind of how our society works right now. So, 
you know, yeah, it's what, okay. So what would you, what would you think should be his, his punishment for, you know, what is he actually everything. indicted on? Is it like the, I don't know. Officially, I think is like a long list of a lot, a lot of things. Yeah. 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 But like, what, what do you, do you think he just should just do a bunch of time? Is there something that he should like give to the country that he represented for, you know, a chunk of time? What, what can, what can he be put through a sex to tape. where a sex tape? Yeah. I'd like to see that. Okay. Yeah. Give them to okay. the aliens. Yeah, mm. they're here for Oh, something. did he already have a sex tape, though? Or was that... No, that I was Hulk know, Hogan. Dude. That was Hulk Hogan. Never mind, Hulk Oh, oh no. 26-inch python, dude. The, the iguana cock. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Let me tell you something, brother. <laughs> hey, brother. <laughs> you ever seen an 18-wheeler? <laughs> What's my name? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't, I don't know. I don't know anything. I, I, I don't follow politics. I don't yeah. care, too. It's not something that, like... I'm just like, whatever. If they're, like, if he's getting indicted... I don't whatever it is that he's getting. I'm sure he he's done a shit ton of stuff. I mean, the guy's a fucking wacko, but whatever. I don't know. Is he like? Is he gonna do time? I doubt it. If if it he's, is, he's been he's what he's been arrested like four times now or some shit. And I feel like, like I feel like if he does time, it's gonna be like in the safety of his own home, home or you know, it's gonna be some luxurious shit. Like the, 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 the the one like how many people. Yeah, he's getting away with so much. He's been arrested so many times, been indicted, all this shit up against him, and he still gets to just run for office. Like it doesn't doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. He still gets a job. Yeah, he's got he's got money to do whatever he wants. It's like no matter what we say or do, it's not going to matter because he's in so much power. Everybody just follows him. There are people who follow him blindly just because he, you know, I hear ah, well, you know, he speaks his mind like. I speak my mind. Am I going to run for office? No. I, you know, are you gonna, am I, I going to get away with shit? I'd you would, no, I you. won't. I'm brown. Well, man, man, I would vote for you. You would walk for office. If, <laughs> if he could walk. <laughs> I'd take a ride for office. <laughs> Uber for office. I'd hail an Uber for office. <laughs> yeah, get a taxi. Taxi for office, you know, but um, yeah, and I, I don't know. Yeah, it, 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 that mug, the mug shots were definitely, um, yeah, one of a kind. And I feel like he might have done. They might have done that on purpose, you know, just to kind of stand out. But you know, there's already plenty of eyes on them, and yeah, may make them. You know, I don't know. I don't have anything to say about it. I really don't. Because I just, we've been through so much as uh, uh, politics wise. It's like nothing even surprises me anymore. Yeah, that's that's a big thing too. Is like a lot of people still get surprised by this stuff. Yeah, but- you know. But I mean, one of more important things, though, do um, you hear about that TV show Down for Love? I did hear about this. What is this? Um, was it on Netflix? Netflix, yeah. It's a show about people with Down syndrome finding love with other people with Down. with other people oh. with Down syndrome, and there's backlash because they're calling it Down for Love. I think it's a dope name. That's yeah. an ingenious name. Mm-hmm. I think it's a great name. And there are so many people out there who are like so, the PC warriors. It's the Karens. It's the, so the Karens and the social justice warriors who are like, oh, this is, that's messed up. You can't, why would you, like, who, uh, dude, I can tell you who's not complaining. The people on the show. Yeah, 100%. I mean, yeah. I but kinda, just, I kind of get it though. Like, it is a bit of a problematic thing to like exploit the, them. It's a bit exploit, you know. It, if, it, it, is it well? Is just it, putting them on a show, period, would be yeah. right. Yeah. Putting them on a show, yeah. But we got we got people who are uh, winning, gr- uh, not Grammy awards, uh, Oscar awards. You know, who have? Oh, are they, uh, what was that kid with Down syndrome who was recently won like some big film award for his. I don't, I don't fucking know. I just, I'm just speaking out of my ass right now. I'm thinking I'm still tired. But um, is it really exploitation? You know, do you think they're, I, I, I haven't watched it, but do you feel like they're just doing that to just make fun of them? In a way, yeah. I mean, it's like 90 Day Fiance, you know, like they want to document. Yeah, they did put the dude with. It's for entertainment purposes, you know. Yeah. So. True. No, like, I feel like if they push the bar and, like, you know, Open the show with like down with the sickness or something, you know, or like right. Maybe are you now down down down? Like if they're just playing shit like that all the time, then it's like okay, let, all right. Now you're just kind of yeah feeding into it. But I think the name is like you said, ingenious. But 
Um, why are we? Why are we all pissed off about it? it yeah, it, it, that's again. That's kind of how society is right now. Everybody that's wants to be mad like, at something. They want to right. cancel something. Right. Yeah. They they literally do. It's anything that they can get their hands on. That's you know what I mean. It's not like they're it's not like they're labeling all these people. You know, they're not calling them different names. They're not calling them. You know, I. I think it's perfectly fine. Like if they were call if they came out and they were like, these two chromosexuals were, you know what I mean? If they like just started saying shit like that, then it would probably be a problem. But they're not. Is they they just literally named a show and they released it just like any other show. It's like, what are they gonna do? Ask the public? Hey, you guys, is this okay if we call this this? You uh, guys don't have Down syndrome, but we think we should hear from you. Like, yeah, how how does that work? They put the, the like. I feel like okay, yeah, it's a different type of show, and yeah, maybe you're right. There's like there's like ninety day fiance, and you know, the, the, uh, but okay, but why are we not making like why are we not taking this to a level of like okay, what's the biggest loser? Yeah, and all that like you know what I mean. True. Well, granted, those shows came out earlier in times. So it was okay to make fun of fat people all the time. Nobody would. No, there were no there were no Karens or anybody who were like social justice warriors on the internet going to social media, bitching and crying about ah oh, well you're making fun of fat people and you're exploiting fat people like. You know, just guys, it's it's television, and they're making something. And the people who are not complaining, I, I, now if the people com- who are complaining were the people on the shows, right, right? If the people on the shows were like were coming out going, oh, I didn't really agree with that. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like they, it's not like they can't. They they can. Hundred percent. They hundred percent they can. They're, they're they're functioning human beings as well. Like you know, it's it may be a little different for them, but they can still express how they how feel. they feel about something. Yeah, but. It's the people who are like, oh, well, you know, my, my family member, you know, has Down syndrome or blah, blah, blah. And I don't, you know, like they, 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 they take it so personally. And it's like you're like you're not the one on the show. Mm. Your family's not the one on the show. The people who are on the show right now, they're the ones who are living the life, finding love if that's even real, if it's even actually happening. But like stop bitching about the name of a TV show and just get over it. OK, so I, I think we're on similar pages here for the most part. Um, how do you respond when they call you for season two? What do you mean? They want you on the show. They want me on the show? Mm-hmm. The biggest loser? No, 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 no. Oh, for Down for, for Down for Love. Why would they, they want me? Well, I mean, if, if they had that blonde girl from the plane, would you go? Oh, she was, I'd follow her to Mordor. That's mm-hmm. what I'm saying. Like, are you, hey, gives you a chance. Maybe Maybe you can go on there and sing some songs, right? Yeah, fuck it. You know, you're like, hey, 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 uh, Jeremiah, we we like your song. We think that'd be lovely. Can you come and perform for like the, the there's a they're they're having an event and you know the people are going on a date. We want you on the on the stage playing and hell yeah, put oh. me in there. Okay, yeah, good spin. Put me in there. Like, what if they want you as a participant? Yeah, we saw your podcast. <laughs> and we, we could tell there's a little bit. Of, yeah, that? yeah. You might be lacking in the peen. I'm down for it. I, you know, I, my socks are high. Oh yeah, my food is down. <laughs> the higher the socks, the downer the food, dude. Cool, cool. You know what I mean? I hey, you know what? All all love to everybody who um, is doing something out of comfort zones and stuff, and to everybody who wants to bash people for something that they that they they have nothing to do with, just because they want some sort of say on the internet to be like, Hey, screw you. You're fucked up for doing this and that when they have nothing to do with that at all. I like, I just had the conversation with um, the streamer today and telling her like, Hey, like, and I just recently heard this on another podcast, but like, you're not a star. And so half the people hate you and half the people love you. Yeah. it's a good phrase. And it's just going to happen. What can you do about it? You just let the people hate you. Let the people love you. At the end of the day, I'm who I am. They're who they are. I'm going to let them be what they want to be. But, like, why can't other people just let go and just let things be? They they have to cancel something. Yeah. With social media is so relevant in far, as far as, like, you know, like, if you're – like people don't care about going on social media and, and, and hearing about your day. They want to go and look at what is trending and what topics are, like, negative so they can go, yeah, fuck that person, and then start a picket and then create – and be a part of, like, this right. riot on the internet that eventually brings somebody down for shit that they have nothing to do with. Yeah. It's just it's, – it's stupid. It's a, it's, a, it's a stupid movement. It's dumb. And people who, who – who do that like why go like like i just said in my last post like go live give and just be better Mm -hmm. 
It doesn't matter. People can't do that. People though. can't do that. They they want to be a part they of something need, negative they because drama. they want to feel like they, they need drama. And then yeah. the, and then those are those same people who need that drama are like, I don't like drama and I don't like having drama in my life and I like to live a happy go oh, lucky right. life. Right. It's like bullshit because I, I I watch you. I see how you talk about people. I see how you like. How, how you jump into shit that doesn't matter, how you mm-hmm. jump into things that has nothing to do with you mm-hmm. just because you want to say in something because everybody else is talking about it. And you want to be a part, of, you want to have that feeling that, oh, I did something. And that something is ruining somebody else's life or bringing somebody else down. It's negative. It's bullshit. It just go about your life. Do you. And I promise you that the, if you put as much energy into yourself and your own life, you are going to be just as successful as the people you're trying to cancel. Right. Right, be a lot happier for sure. It'd be a lot happier. Speaking of shows, mm-hmm. um, we lost we lost a, a TV icon recently. Our boy Bob Barker. Bob Barker. R.I.P. Zel. Yeah, we did. Uh, great scenes in what was it? Uh, Happy Gilmore, or was it? Yeah, I mean a, a handful the shit of out of Adam Sandler. I think it was in movie. like a handful of Adam Sandler movies. Um, um, yeah. What also, was that at ninety nine. Yeah, yeah, ninety nine. I hope I live that long. Yeah, how really? long did Betty White live? Uh, uh, maybe not. No, uh, I think Betty White's still alive. No, no, she died. Oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure she she's still alive it? in my heart. Yeah, she, she's, she's still alive. <laughs> in my heart. Wait, it's it's hard to believe. Uh, it was like late last year, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, yeah, she died recently as well. Um, long live Betty White, though. I love Betty White. Betty White's my homie. She's a homie. She's a homie for sure. I'd marry her. You married Betty White? I mean, I would. Yeah, I just feel like she's dope. I feel like she was dope. A couple years ago. A couple December. years ago. Yeah. Did you say what, how old she was? Um, I think she was like 99 as well, right? Like she didn't quite make it to 100. Yeah, she's 99. Yeah. 99 is the death, the, uh, the, the year of the die. Yeah. We lost three. Uh, we lost two wrestlers, Terry Funk. Yeah, that was the day after be. with Bray Wyatt. Yeah, thirty six years old, very young, <laughs> super I've never young. Watched like what are they? Are those people big names? In Terry the- Funk was a big name back in the day. In the- back in the day, he was a Hall of Famer. Bray White had a Hall of Fame career, though he didn't exactly. I'm sure he'll make it in the Hall of Fame, like coming up. Sure, but he had a Hall of Fame career, and uh, he started wrestling in the WWE about 10, 2010. And the guy is just an icon. I mean, like mm. he when when the Undertaker retired. He passed the torch to Bray Wyatt because Bray Wyatt's character is very Undertaker-ish. Oh, really? Yeah, Bray Wyatt's character was that dark, supernatural, mysterious kind of character, which Undertaker's character was Dead Man mm-hmm. Walking. Bray Bray Wyatt's was more like you know the the creepy swamp guy. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But like he he just the the guy was like you hear all these stories, you read all these stories, you see all the videos of like how he was with his fans and stuff and how like grateful he was. His father um, was another big wrestler back in the day as well. Hall of Fame wrestler, uh, uh, Mike Rotunda. So, you know, his family is also in the wrestling business. I think he's like a second or third generation wrestler as well. Mm. Um, But 36 years old, died of a heart attack. Um, He always had heart problems apparently, Uh, but I guess he contracted, they say he contracted COVID earlier this year and it made things worse. So he had actually taken a break from wrestling for a while. Mm -hmm. Um, Do you think and it's steroid related? No, I don't think. I think I just think that he, his, he probably just his heart probably couldn't handle as much as he was doing, maybe. But yeah, he had a heart attack, um, uh, and it's sad because he actually got released from the WWE a couple years ago. If you, I don't remember when it was he got released, but he was one of the wrestlers that people were like surprised that he got released because they're like, yeah. why? He's one of the biggest wrestlers. Hmm. But because of that, because because COVID at the time and. WWE wasn't making any money. They started releasing all these big wrestlers. Right, right. And, um, you know, after wrestling had come back, uh, one of the people in his faction, you know, like a faction is like your tag team, your stable, you know. Yeah. Uh, he had four people in there. Uh, he had Braun Strowman, uh, Eric Rowan, Luke Harper, Bray Wyatt was a leader. Luke Harper passed away a couple years ago. Oh, dang. Um, and so that took a big toll on so so actually I, I don't remember the, the the timeline. It was either Luke passed and then he got released, or he got released then Luke passed. Mm. But he was like, he he was he was devastated. He 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 explained that he lost his way when he came back to the WWE and they brought him back. Um, he had a whole segment about just being like, I lost myself, but I'm, I'm, I'm glad to be back in front of you guys again. Dude's 36 years old, and he had so many fans and so many people who looked at him like he was the Undertaker in the sense that like he had that kind of career. And, yeah, to be taken so soon was just sad. So they had uh, this past Friday, they had this SmackDown. They 
canceled all the SmackDown plans and just made it a whole tribute thing. That's dope. Yeah. And uh, it was super sad. It was really sad. And then the next day, Bob Barker. Yeah. Bob Barker, right? Not Parker. Barker. Barker. Yeah, yeah Bob Barker. Big B. Um, yeah, that say they go in threes. That's what they say. But, you know, I, whatever the, you know, universe has in store for however many people should be you yeah. know, parting away from this plane. Uh, it does suck. I, I remember living through a couple of um, deaths for when I was a wrestling fan. <laughs> Eddie Guerrero. Um, Eddie Guerrero. Chris mm-hmm. Benoit. Those were two huge ones. Is that the one that killed his family? Yeah, yeah. Like, no, the when you know when he passed away, it was all devastation until everybody found out what it actually exactly happened. what happened. Yeah. And then the WWE erased everything that had anything to do with Chris Benoit. But there was him, Eddie. Um, yeah, a lot of people, like a lot of like very iconic wrestlers, who had like, and it wasn't any, it wasn't anything that like. People like all of a sudden understood and recognized their talent after they passed away. Mm-hmm. It, was, it was like they had the talent. People knew these guys are like the next right. people to keep this shit going for the next thir- 20 years, 30 years, or whatever it's going to be. And Undertaker's like damn near 70. Yeah. And he was still like, he shouldn't be in the ring. Like, Ric Flair, another one. Ric Flair mm-hmm. retired like eight times, or <laughs> that's an exaggeration, but he should have been out of the ring a long time ago. The guy's so old, but like yeah. he's just, you know. People looked at these these guys and were like, damn, these guys are the ones that are going to keep it going. You know, the, the next John Cena's, the next Rocks, the next, you know, they have these crazy long careers. In what about Logan Paul? Dude, I think he's a dope-ass wrestler. He actually does some crazy maneuvers and stuff. I've seen some videos of him, like, flying. For a kid, for a kid, he's athletic. We all know. The, the, oh, yeah, the Paul brothers, brothers are freaking athletic. Yeah. But, like, for a kid who had no idea how to wrestle. To go into his first match and start jumping off turnbuckles mm-hmm. and top ropes and putting his body through that shit and, and entertaining a crowd, that's impressive yeah. as fuck. And to have main event or co-main event wrestling matches, WrestleMania, like, yeah. dude, he... There's star that's power for sure. Star power, yeah. And, like, WWE knows what they're doing using him. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know, people hate the Paul brothers. Yeah. But it's it's vice versa. I mean, the, the Paul brothers don't do anything... For nothing, yeah, you know what I mean. Which one of them has a fight soon? Dylan Jake. Dennis, Jake, Jake fights Dylan, uh, yeah, Jake. Oh no, Logan, no, Logan, it is Logan, Logan. Yeah. yeah, Logan has an like October or something, yeah, yeah. That's an that's another one. It's like Dylan Dennis is a uh, amazing grappler, you know, and he he does decent as far as MMA goes, but he's made such a big name for himself on like social media and like you know, talking and trash, and trolling, and stuff like that. So, this is another, another cash grab like i i assume dylan dennis is not gonna win that fight yeah because isn't, isn't logan still like a boxer yeah it's a boxing only match right exactly well it's it's kind of like the jake paul versus nate or nick diaz the yeah it's like they can't do everything they they're they're they're, they're used to they can right. only throw punches yeah i mean you're you're right and these but, guys are like training to do that shit all the time mm-hmm. but besides that i feel like it's another it's another let's get a paul brother win right build their name even more because they're they're trying to like really attack some big boxers and as long as they keep up racking wins it doesn't matter the name that you know they, they found a they're, formula whatever it's working, the, it's working. It's working. Yeah, yeah they're killing yeah it. and like people hate them and they, they people love to hate them right and it's like i used to be like oh fuck the logan brothers or the, the paul brothers the joke the, yeah the, like I, I used to just like, like not like them but for what these yeah. are they're doing they're yeah. killing it mm-hmm. They're doing I have so what much they respect want. for them. They're doing what they want. I mean, athletically, yes. Um, yep. They are kind of pieces of shit, though, for, like, their views and, like... Yeah, they're doing... I mean, they're, they're, they're definitely, like, before. Uh, before all this boxing and, mm-hmm. like, them being the limelight, being in the public eye this much. Yeah. They're doing some stupid shit. I mean, the whole riot thing in Scottsdale that Jake was, like, a part of. Right. And then the whole, like, Logan posting that video in, in Japan thing. Like, that, all that stuff, like, yeah, it's very... But they're, but they're, they're also, like the epitome of like coming back from something stupid yeah and making something of it granted like yeah they were very uh infamous right but they're also like they're kind of like flipping that yeah it's growth why why can't they why can't they change yeah and, why can they and change do you know, you know different things still and try to do different things like you know, you see people that that get themselves into situations like that and they never come up from it. They they don't even want to try because, you know, I was shamed for this, this and that. 
But these guys were like, you know what? We can still do what we want to do, and we could still build our la- our name and our freaking empire that they're building. You know what I mean? They're doing podcasts. They're they're doing a lot of stuff. So yeah, I agree. It's it's hard not to like them for what they're. Yeah, it's hard not to in. give them their give them their flowers their credit. Yeah, yeah, they 100%. they um. But uh, yeah, at the end of the day, like shit. I wish I wish I had that body, dude. <laughs> The Paul, the Paul, the, uh, that Logan body, man. Ugh. Body, sure. Facial hair. Guess if if I could grow anything half the size of this man's mustache, Who's Steve it? Harvey. Oh Steve yes, Harvey's that's... mustache. Steve Harvey. He's got a fucking caterpillar he's, on his top lip. Though. He does. Uh, he's he's got a full grown toupee on his <laughs> upper lip dude. He's gonna, like, yeah. you get that shit, with the dude, that shit has insurance policy dude it's, i'm sure it does like that actually like, though yeah I'm sure it does 100 like, yeah his veneers and his uh mustache are very yeah, yeah. highly insured does he, have, does he have veneers oh yeah oh fuck it what you think those are natural yeah they're big dude looks like he's yeah. got a fucking ice cream he'll take a bite out of crime now yeah <laughs> he'll take a bite out of something <laughs> he could bite a wall yeah things, dude. Like, yeah you know what i mean <laughs> did, fucking hits did, it like a hulk thunderclap when he smacks his yeah. lips like, <laughs> did you hear what he's kind of going through right now in his marriage that's fake is it yeah yeah it was uh it, it, it was a viral somebody just made a uh, lie about how his wife is cheating on him and it's real is it real? I talked to the white girl to from uh, to the plane. Yeah, she was like, "Hey, I know oh, this she, is fake. yeah." No, 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 it's real. Then yeah. if so she if said if she said it, then I, I'll, I'll, <laughs> like I believe it. It's like everything being on Facebook. <laughs> right, right, right. If it's on Facebook, it's real, hundred percent. So 100%. if it, if it's fake, I'm happy. But I was so ready to he to see him on Family Feud if it was real. What do you can think? You imagine? Like? Can you imagine? He's like, we surveyed a hundred. Cheating ass bitches <laughs> <laughs> on on what kind of dinner they would want on their wedding anniversary, even though they don't deserve shit because they lying, cheating, and stealing. And the survey said, you know, like shit like that. I'm I was ready for it. Just ready for it. Yeah, I yeah, think yeah. he would have memed the fuck out of it. But like, oh, yeah. weirdly, like in the Harvey, you know, way. Because you watch some of that stuff, and it's like he he knows what he's doing. Like they they know what they're doing. They're setting Harvey up to be like memed out so hard. And and viral clips of you know people forced to respond in certain the original ways. Harvey meme you remember it which one uh, there's been a- when he misannounced the Miss Universe oh panel. yeah oh, right 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 yeah, yeah, yeah I do he remember that called the wrong winner yeah called the wrong winner yeah I remember because the Super Bowl was like shortly after and then everyone was doing the same thing the whole Steve meme Harvey was, was like was, announcing was, the wrong winner yeah, and stuff yeah, yeah. <laughs> um also there there is another thing that he was going through though hmm. uh, his Twitter account. Is run by a team, and they posted something like, "Who's the least funny comedian?" Oh wow! And he went on a he went on a, oh, a I video, a yeah. And he was like, "Why would I ever post anything?" He's like, "My whole brand is positivity, mm-hmm. staying up with your mental, making sure you can." Why would I try and berate another comedian? These guys are young and upcoming and trying to do this thing. Why would I try and do that? Yeah, he's like, "Somebody's getting fired," like. Dang. And, and he's like, somebody's getting fired. He's like, you got my ass on this fucking selfie video. Having a, like, he's got like this whole fishing hat and everything. He's like saying it from like some river. Costa Rica. <laughs> yeah, dude. But he's just, he was pissed. Like, I'm like, damn, Steve. Like, I'd be afraid Steve to have Harvey? Steve look at me like I did something wrong. Yeah. That mustache probably fucking. Yeah, you don't know what he's hiding. He's got it's, some brass it's, it's probably, yeah. Dude, he's like, he's got a little fist that, you know, that comes out of the mustache. Like, I feel like that twitches when he's mad. I would just turn the lights off, and then he wouldn't be able to see me, but I'd always know where he's at, as long as his mouth is open. <laughs> Motherfucker's got goddamn height. He's in those fucking veneers are bright, dude. He's like, he's yeah. got a smile for a fucking... He does, dude. He should be a Colgate model. He's I, like, man, I, I'm telling you, he's like, I wish I could like smile like that and be a... <laughs> You can for sixty k. <laughs> Is that how much veneers cost? Yeah, they yeah, are They expensive. cost a ton, yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay. Damn, Man, in this uh, country, at least, I don't know. Yeah, Mexico, you, you might be able to go. Matt yeah, Rife, yeah. you know who Matt Rife is? Apparently, yeah. he's got some veneers too. Yeah. I think actually, like looking back at what his old, right, wild now videos were, I now realize, yeah, yeah. his think, teeth are definitely different. The thing about veneers that kind of you know fucks me up, and I would never do it, is they like as cool as they look, very nice, you know, whatever, very like perfect. They have to shave down your your actual teeth, you right? Know? So you've got oh, like, dude, I can't go through it. Like, yeah. Uh, 
Oh no. You see when people get them like replaced and it's yeah. like fucking just a meth mouth. Like it's just everything's rotted. It's like they're all oh, yellow. Shit. You look like the like, barbarian. Oh, <laughs> dude. Yeah. yeah. You imagine that's what you wake up to after sleep paralysis? An alien trying to give you veneers? Just, mm. <laughs> like, please. Damn. <laughs> just put the finger in my ass, dude. Leave my teeth alone. I don't want to deal with this. Wait, everyone else got probed. Why am I getting this? <laughs> <Why am> I <laughs> getting this? <laughs> Your teeth are that bad. <laughs> Your teeth are really bad. <laughs> like, oh, no. Is it cheap? Um, <laughs> so, last, last episode. No, it was the last episode. It was the introductory episode. Oh, the mm, one that was technical yeah. difficulty. Right, right. The audio episode. Uh huh. We, we talked talk about, about names. Bongot. Oh yes. Bongot. Mm. Yeah. Mr. Angel. Which can we can we remind the audience if we, if they you know uh, don't remember what yeah. that meant? Yeah. So Bongot was the nickname that our mom gave our youngest brother Angel here. Yes. So um, Angel grew up being called Bongot by her mother, uh, but after looking it up out of curiosity, what it meant. Um, and we're all also trying to find the name of our podcast, right? So we're just trying to find out what meanings did we, you know, what what can we bring? That's exactly, something from Tagalog or from the Filipino from culture our that we could, our childhood, right? So I looked it up, and officially, off of this uh, English, uh, Tagalog, and Bisaya, and all these languages, because there's a ton in the Philippines. Um, apparently, it is the hair growing in the pubic area. Is it just any pubic area? Um, specifically above the vagina. Okay. That's so and so, so he just, weird he did, for her uh, to call me that. So again, this is it a, could be he could be something else though. We don't know. Yeah, the, this is exactly why we're, we want to get mom. Uh, we're gonna call her right we're now. We're gonna call her right now. Yep. And then we're gonna see what her explanation is, and then we're gonna tell her. Should we tell her what we found first, or f- we want? Her? We'll tell her after. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I feel like that's... I was, Hello? Yeah. Hey, Mom. Hi, son. Hi. Hi, Mom. Hi, son. You're on, a, you're on our podcast right now. Mm-hmm. Welcome to Ainako Podcast. Ainako. Okay, so, um, Mom, we were... Are you busy? No, I'm jamming over here. You're jamming? Jamming. What are you jamming? I mean, that sounds like Mom, though. 80s yeah. disco. 80s disco. Some, some ABBA? Oh, Nothing but 80s. ABBA in my head now. <laughs> Unchained melody. <laughs> take a chance, take a chance, take a chance. Who are you with? Are you yeah, with somebody? Mom, mom are you with That's you? That's my music. Okay, Mom, can you pause that? Because we have a very serious question to ask you. Okay. okay oh, well, we well, need well. your undivided attention. So before we get into anything, all right, before Angel asks... <laughs> Um, what we wanted to ask you, uh, or what we wanted to bring up is, so we were trying to come up with a name for the podcast, uh, me and Vince, like a few, a couple months ago. And before we settled on Ainako, we were trying to think of things that, you know, like phrases and Langanisa and all these things that we're just trying to like come (laughs) up with a name. And one of the names... Um, one of the things that we wanted that we were going to say, we looked up the definition. We're very curious as to what it meant. But Angel has a question because the the the, the name is what you used to call him. What, what, go ahead, Angel. Um, bongo. Um, yes. Um, why did you, out of the three of us, why did you call me that? And w- because you're always bongo. What is it? What is it? Hold on, let it, let it go. Bongo means you hit, you hit wall to wall. Like, <laughs> you hit Wait. yourself into a wall. And because Angel likes to, to be in a tight space. Uh, you know what? That's so true. I remember one time he got his head stuck behind the china cabinet and he was freaking the fuck out. I, I, I don't remember, remember that. Oh, yeah, be, yeah, you were little, but your head was huge. <laughs> like, yeah. you got it stuck there. Okay, mom. So, bongo. How do you spell that? B O N G O. Um, oh, there's no T at the end of it. Like a bongo. Like, okay, that's one of the things yeah. that kept coming up was like bongo, like hitting you know hitting like drums. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, oh I mom, you are you. He just cleared <laughs> some shit up. Just now. Angel had anxiety for a week trying to figure out why you called him bongo, because the bongo that we looked up, okay, yeah, was B O N G O T. B B U N G O T in Cebuano. It was Cebuano. Yeah. 
the mom. It's not bongo. Bongo. Yeah. You know what that is, right? No, that's not. The, mm, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, can we bongo. tell you what we found that that bongo what, means? What what is it? I don't speak English. Okay. So yeah, yeah, we know. Probably, <laughs> probably good to remember this then. What we found, mom, is that that meaning yeah. of that word is uh, the name for the hair above a vagina. The pubic hair above a vagina. So <laughs> good. So we thought you were calling Angel that because he's hairy, or maybe he got stuck when he was coming out. That's bongo. Bongo means it could be like. Mostly, we call it bongot is is a uh, uh, mustache. Mustache. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Most. Oh, well, yeah. We were way off. <laughs> yeah. We were yeah. Yeah. completely That's way a off. Different pair of lips. <laughs> 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 so, okay, because Angel was like he when he when he found out what we found out. He's very hurt. He was very worried. Oh no, he wasn't that because there's no tea. So he, okay. so you call him Bongo, no tea, Instead, Bongo, because he, because he's, he was well, an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I, I actually like call him a nickname like Bobong, Bobong, something like that. What's that? Usually we call it like, uh, just a uh, nickname that. in the Philippines. I don't, we don't remember but that. Bobong. Just... And then I, 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 since he always like go into something and want to go in a tight spot, so he always hit his head, his shoulder. Get stuck. I remember oh, hitting like, my head on the fan when I grew up, but shit. Okay, so that's the equivalent of being like, you idiot, like dumbass. Yeah. I feel like I feel like that's a politer way of saying that. Well, so he was just dumbass. <laughs> like, but like he would, no, not, not really. Not really dumb. No, he would just no, he'd hit his head no, all the time. No, no, no one. No, I didn't raise any dumbass. I raised. Uh, mm, you'd be surprised, mom. Uh, if you listen to the next last couple episodes when they come out, just just understand. <laughs> like, if you still love me, like, thank you. Okay. You raised. You raised a hairy ass. <laughs> but like, uh, uh, yeah, okay, it makes sense because I remember uh, Angel no, getting I, stuck. I didn't in... raise any dumbass. I raised morons. <laughs> oh shit, <laughs> mom. Got him. Mom. I'm it's it's more mom. More mom. <laughs> all right mom well thank yeah, you for I clearing that up we love you too well i'm adopted so <laughs> it's just, it, angels he's <laughs> mom didn't go through all that pain for you to be adopted okay <laughs> yeah no we, we just wanted to clear that up mom thanks mom also you did a great job on the uh on the uh saying all the things for the intro uh the intros it sounds great you'll hear it when it comes out you'll hear the uh the song. Also, it's his, not uh, how how are because uh, your auntie Lisa wants to see this thing. When this so. well, by the time that this episode airs, the oh. episode, the intro episode will be out already. So you'll you'll know. Yeah, we'll let you know. But we just wanted to, we just wanted to, uh, yeah, just let the family know, like we're you did raise some morons. So, yep. um, <laughs> so you know, not to go into this thinking we're gonna be the good boys that they all think we are. More on it. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> it wasn't, it wasn't, I, I wasn't finished yet. Uh, more on it. See? Oh, got it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> good save. Okay. Good save. Good save. Yeah, good save. <laughs> no, we, 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 we believe you the first time. <laughs> we heard you twice the first time, Mom. Okay, Mom. Well, thank you for uh, thank you for clearing that up. Well, we know Angel's not a muff. <laughs> he's got a muff stash, but he's not a muff. <laughs> well, now we got to call his girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. oh, that's oh, thanks, Mom. Call. Thank, Thank you, Mom. Oh, love, you're you. Welcome, love you. I love you too. All right, bye. Love you guys. Bye, bye. Damn. Damn that, that that cleared a lot. Yeah. So you kept running into walls, apparently. Yeah. No, he did. I remember this specifically. He was just very clumsy. Yeah. You were just clumsy, so I you remember, just hit things. I remember a, a certain amount of clumsiness from you for sure. Yeah. But that's interesting to know. I, I remember one time specifically, he was trying to like. He was just. He would. He would. Like you would get your head stuck between like the pool fence. You would just you. It was like you just wanted to see if you can make it into tight spaces. Like it's, there's one thing I do remember is like when we went camping and like you would chase us around. Uh, you know, Dad's pickup truck. You know that little window in the back. I would squeeze through that. You know. No, yeah. I mean, you don't remember these but, things since you were little. You were yeah. You were a little monkey. You just trying to get into things. So, um, everything all right? Yeah, yeah. We're just uh. The cameras turn off. No, okay, yeah, uh, cool. it, it, it's uh, yeah, you would 
like though I remember specifically you did get stuck behind the china cabinet and you're freaking out and I, of course I was small so like I couldn't like lift the china cabinet myself I had to go get dad and it was just a whole big thing but um wow. yeah no that clears it up well thankfully you're not yeah thank god you're not yeah. pussy muff <laughs> yeah your bongo still bongo just still. without the t yeah Yep. Your bongo. Yeah, your bongo, apparently. <laughs> your bongo. <laughs> Don't do that. Yep. <laughs> well, I think that wraps everything up for today's episode, guys. Yep. Thank yep. you. Uh, thank you for everything and, and uh, being a part of this uh, epic episode of clearing all that up. And um, I hope everybody enjoyed the episode. Um, anybody want to say anything before we leave? No. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, if you guys... When you guys see these episodes, they're going to be posted. When are we gonna? We're gonna go ahead and good thing he because I kind of wanted to know when officially like a launch date. We're gonna. So the the reason why we're doing picking Tuesdays um, is because officially we want to start calling this podcast network that I'm going to be releasing my mental health podcast on and possibly even some other podcasts. We want to call it Two Big Studios because it, we're just we're two big people, and also too big in Tagalog is water, which we have a whole story that we'll get into next time. We won't talk yeah. about it today, but yeah. there's a reason why we chose the word too big. But two big studios, um, and and so uh, yeah, so we figured we'd call the releases of these episodes for I not call at least too, too big Tuesdays, too big Tuesdays. So Tuesday, I think around noon is when to expect these um, episodes. And by the by, this time these episodes have already a couple of episodes already came out on Tuesday, so yep, yep, you guys yep. will know. But just uh, make sure that you tune in and uh, you know hit that like, comment, and subscribe on the YouTube and follow us on social media. I not go pod. Mm-hmm. Um, other than that, thank you guys for watching. We appreciate you guys. Much love, and we'll see you next time. Bye now. Bye. Bye.